Ms. Davies, how long have you and the defendants been neighbors? Ever since I moved up there in 2000. So a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. And how long have you lived in your home? About 10, 11 years. You had a tree on your property. Yes, ma'am. That tree or branch of that tree that was on your property fell over and damaged the fence and a rabbit hutch that was on the plaintiff's property. That's correct. And she's suing for a nominal amount to fix both the fence and to reconstruct the rabbit hutch. If I'm reading your answer right, you acknowledge that the tree was leaning over on her property, and I don't think you even deny the fact that some of that tree, if not all of it, was dead. What kind of tree was it? Uh, it was a, uh, a scrub oak. It was not dead. Was that branch dead? Uh, no, it was not. Do you have photographs of the tree? Yes, ma'am, I do. I'd like to take a look at it. Your defense seems to be if Miss Davies wanted to trim your tree, then she should have done that. Absolutely. And then she wouldn't have had the damage. Correct. Right? This is where you are mistaken. Your last name is? Dunn. Dunn? Is this the tree that you're talking about? No, ma'am. In the background. Oh, I got it. The one that's covered with vines. Is it covered with vines? May I step up there and point out? And then in the other picture, she'll see the top where it broke. Okay. It's hard for me to tell whether it's... Well, hmm? She said there's another picture where you can see the top of it that, that it broke and off. Your Honor, oh, this one. Right. So it was a big branch that fell off. Okay, I got it. I've well, got a big trunk. Okay, tree. so this is where you're thinking, sir, is wrong. The plaintiff has the right to trim a tree, whether it be dead or alive, that's encroaching over her property line. She has the right to do that. You are confusing right with responsibility. Those are two different things. You couldn't complain if the plaintiff trimmed the tree that was hanging over her property. You would have no cause of action because you are encroaching on her property. But if that tree which is on your property that doesn't look like a healthy tree, that tree is your responsibility. She has the right to trim it, but you have the responsibility to maintain it in such a way so that it does not cause damage to your neighbor's property. And if you neglect to do that, and you may have a property that has lots of trees, I understand that. It's happened to me many times, both ways with neighbors. But if my tree damages a neighbor's property, I'm responsible, even though the neighbor had the right to trim it. You're confusing those two things, sir. Do you understand? No, I disagree. Well, I'm gonna to try to explain it to you again. Fine. The branch of your tree was hanging over her property, over her fence, and over this rabbit hutch. She, if she wanted to, at her expense, could have had someone come in and trim that tree, and you would have no cause to complain. Mm -hmm. That was her right. However, she does not have the responsibility to maintain the tree. You do. It's your tree. And if your tree, because she chooses not to spend the money to trim it, if you choose not to either take it down or trim it, it's your responsibility if it causes damage. I tried to say that even louder so you could understand it. I understand what you're saying, uh, but she let the branch die enough for a storm caused no, to fall on her sir. property. No, sir, you let it. <laughs> Sorry, you're You're being annoying. Because <laughs> I, I don't understand why somebody would want to interrupt when it appears as if your side is winning. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Weren't you listening to what I said to him? Yes, ma'am. She didn't let the branch die. You did. And right now, you just cooked your own goose because you said it was a healthy tree. You said she let the branch die. She didn't. It wasn't her tree. It was your tree. That branch and laid in her property. That's where she let it die, where she gets her pictures of a dead tree. I don't understand. Are you... I mean, I read your answer. Your answer clearly says that a branch of your tree fell and damaged her property. You acknowledge that in your answer. Yeah, I mean, there's pictures. Why would I, why would I deny well, that? But then I, I don't understand your response to what I'm saying to you. Uh, that's how I feel. I don't care how you feel. Your, your <laughs> feeling right. is that's... unimportant to me. I just told you what the law is.